there's some exciting news just in time for Christmas. Today is December 23rd, 2022, and I just read some news articles saying that the Pump Act, the updated one, passed the Senate, which it has struggled very, very much to do in the last year and a half, and is expected to pass Congress and be signed into law this week. It's the end of the week, so I don't know how that's gonna happen, but hopefully soon, this new and updated Pump Act will be in effect, which is awesome news, okay? So I'm gonna tell you the details of that in just a second, but for those that don't know, the Pump Act was part of the Affordable Care Act back in 2010. It allowed mothers space and rights within their businesses to have time and space to pump at work, all right? So this is really cool. This law already requires that employers give mothers time and space to pump that is not a bathroom, that is shielded from view, and that they have to be able to have time to do that. There have been some problems with it, however, because many businesses with less than 50 employees are exempt from giving those uh, rights to to their workers. It also was kind of only for hourly employees, which left out a bunch of people (laughs) that are nursing mothers as well. And as we've worked through it, we've just come across some little nuances that have made it difficult for working mothers to actually get these rights that they are owed, as well as employers kind of making accommodations to help them get what they need to do. Every job is different. And while I fully support and protect mothers' rights in the workplace, I realize that this can be difficult for employers as well. So the laws and bills that are in the works and have to accommodate both of these arenas, both working mothers um, supporting and feeding their infants, which honestly is priority number one, right? We have to feed babies and support this basic human right. But also we have to find a way to do this that employers can actually make it work, that it can actually be done. Um, So it's kind of this weird juxtaposition that we're in. Anyway, most of you watching this video already know this, but the complexities of pumping at work often affects a woman's decision to continue breastfeeding. There was actually a recent survey done by Aeroflow, which is a DME breast pump manufacturer, and they had some really interesting results I wanna share with you really quick before we talk about what's in this new past um, pump act, okay? In their study that they did, they noted that nearly half of moms had expressed concerns that breastfeeding would negatively impact their career growth. Half, that's crazy. Almost half of the women um, who went back to work after having a baby had considered changing jobs because of their desire to pump at work. And for whatever reason, that just wasn't gonna be feasible, whether logistically or from their workplace support. And an astounding 62% in this little survey that they did said that there was a stigma attached to moms at work who were breastfeeding and pumping. And this just tells us we have so much room for improvement in this area, right? So this pump act is another step forward in a good direction. Here's the details. So one of the main updates that this pump act did was it extended protections to employees that are not hourly. So this includes salaried employees and a few other um, areas that were left out previously. So that's a big deal. Now we're extending this to all working women who are lactating and need time and space to pump. So that's awesome. It also noted that the time spent expressing milk should be counted as work hours if you're also working. Okay. So Before, it said pretty clearly that you can take as many breaks as you need, but they don't have to pay you for them, which again really plays into that hourly worker thing because you're hourly. But what about the salaried workers? Like, they're salaried, so can they take as many breaks as they want? And you still have to pay them because they're salaried. Anyway, it was just messy, but that's cleared it up. Yes, you have to give them breaks um, a reasonable amount of time to do that, right? Can't be excessive and you know, moms, please don't over abuse this privilege or it will get taken away from us. Um, But you're not right. Go pump your milk for your baby. So if you're going to be working while you're pumping at your desk or as a teacher or whatever, you get to get paid for that. And this clearly says that if you're not working, they still don't have to pay you. Okay, so that we're trying to keep it fair on both sides here. I also said something in there, it might be extending it from one years to two years. I only found that in one place. I'll put that down below. So we'll need to wait and see. One year for sure. The previous law already said that it has to be for the first year. I would love to see it be moved to two years so that moms can continue to pump as long as they want. Currently, most moms in my program that I work with privately 
have that one year pumping goal. Many of them choose to breastfeed longer than that and kind of wean from the pump at that one year. Most employers are pretty reasonable about extending that. You know, hopefully they don't cut you hard off at one year and say, okay, we're done. You get no more time, no more breaks, no more space. (laughs) But technically they can, I guess. There are still some exemptions in place for those who work um, on air carriers and some rail workers as well. Due to the difficulty of those environments and providing a space. So hopefully those employers still are doing the best that they can. But if you're a flight attendant or you're a pilot or something like that on a small aircraft for a five hour flight, there's just nowhere private to give you. So hopefully they still allow time and space to do that, but it may not meet all the regulations. Same with railway workers. I know this was a big problem last June when the bill was blocked by a senator from Wyoming. Um, I've lived in Wyoming. There's a lot of railroads there. And I think that was her major complaint that that a lot of the people and employers in her specific region were really going to struggle with this if these exemptions were not listed in there. So hopefully these employers are still giving workers space to do that, but it might not be as private as the law dictates just purely because of the job that it is. Progress is still progress. We're getting there. Also noted in this little update here is that if you, if your employer is not complying with this law, you do need to inform them and they have 10 days to rectify it before you can file an official complaint, which unfortunately 10 days is long enough to hurt your milk supply. So (laughs) definitely talk with your employer before you go back to work and make sure that things are set up. And if it's not working, address it right away and let them know in writing that it is not working and so that you can file a formal complaint with the Federal Bureau and get that taken care of. I work with moms a lot in my private program called Pumping for Working Moms. We deal with stuff like this. Um, If you want some help, not only managing your milk supply, but dealing with the complexities of doing pumping at work, then that's exactly what I do. But we will keep you updated on more exciting stuff on this Pump Act. Um, What a great holiday gift for (laughs) working moms. It's been years in the making and there's still more more space to go, Um, but we're getting there and that's good. There's a blog post for you down below with all of this information and some more links to articles. I will also keep that post updated with new updates on this bill so you can check that out if you're watching this a few days after it's posted or a week or two or whatever. Go check that blog post because that's where I'll be posting all the updates and you can kind of watch this unfold and get the really, you know, nitty gritty details of what this is. I am a lactation consultant. I am not a politician. So (laughs) hopefully nothing I said in this video was incorrect, but this process of getting bills passed is, is tricky. So I'll make sure that that blog post is very clear and updated for you, but I'm going to count this as a win. Happy holidays and happy pumping.